Welcome back to Ozarks Foxy. I'm in our final moments together from Monette, Missouri. I've had such a blast. I have too. So fun. I forget how much I enjoy crafting, Jeremy. I just we just don't have much time for yeah, that. Yeah, it's true. We're, we're very busy. But yes. for the last six years, and tomorrow will be my seventh year, I do a craft demonstration on the stage here at the Repurpose Fair Festival. And for the last several years, three or four, I've been using vintage windows for uh -huh. my projects because have I already have them and I don't have to spend money. That's right. And that's repurposing. That's yes. yes. The point of repurposing things. Yes. Now, if you have to get some things from your attic, or maybe you have to buy a few new things, at least you're reusing your old things before I you add some new things. I so agree. I'm going to take this vintage window. Now, Kelly... This is a window I removed from my current house last fall. Oh, okay. So this is from my house. I have one of those too at my house. Maybe I'll do something. You should. <laughs> Maybe get some ideas. Okay. okay. So now what I've added new is I found something that I love now. I was at the craft store. It's bulletin board paper. Bulletin board paper. And you know why I like it? It's because patterned it's, and it comes in a giant roll. And it's not too thick. It's perfect for what I'm about to do. Now, uh, I'm going to be demonstrating this again tomorrow, so I'm not going to completely finish this project. If you want to win it and see it fully demoed, you have to come okay. tomorrow to say hi to me. Okay. But I have this window here. What we're going to do is we're going to fill each. This is a four light window. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill each one with this. I just thought it was a fun like brick pattern. Oh, I think it's it's not too overdone, yes. so it makes a backdrop. It's a nice. good background, yes. guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a, a thin layer of Mod Podge. Now, here's the trick with the Mod Podge, guys. Can't you don't it. want to put too much on. Right. Because then your paper's going to get soggy yeah. and it's going to tear. Yeah. So the trick is, here's what I was practicing at home. Practice. I pour a little bit on and yeah. I start spreading it out. Woo. And then I'll add. You can always add more, but you can't take right. away. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put this and get it all in the corners. Okay, you want me to hold yes, that? thank you. Okay. And if I need more, can you pour I'll, some? I'll pour some on. Yeah, thank you. And I had really good luck with this uh, bulletin board paper. Yeah. And it, this is, I got the matte Mod Podge, by the way. I didn't want I was glossy. Ask you, yeah. yeah, you don't need that for a backdrop. No, like no, that. no. You don't want it to be too shiny because it's the background. Yeah. It's not, you don't want it at the forefront. Right. Okay, so a thin layer of Mod Podge. And Mod Podge really is a crafter's best friend. It really is. You can do so much with it. Guys, can I tell you, that was an accident. I got the perfect amount of Mod Podge. You did. I didn't even mean to, guys. <laughs> at home, I was like, oh, I need to add more. I need you to take perfect. away. It actually is working really it well. It is. And I just wanted a fun, simple background. When I was looking for bulletin board paper, they have so many great patterns. Oh, oh yeah. To fit Absolutely. your design style. Okay, now, now Ms. This Kelly. This is the back side of this it. This is right? the back okay. side. So I'm going to put the front right. down. Now, the trick is to get it in place the right way. So, Kel, I'm going to have you help me. Let's put it in the corner and make sure all the sides, and we're going to start at the top, and we're then going to push down. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Perfect. Okay, now push forward. forward. Do you yeah, have enough room like, over there? It's like uh, wallpaper. Yes. And then move it down. And if you have a little bit extra, that's fine. Just get crease it with your fingernails. Yep, get those bubbles out. But look how easy that oh, that's was. Perfect. And you have a little bit of bubbles. And by the way, a trick too: if you do have air bubbles, take your uh, box knife and just make little holes. Oh, oh yeah. And then push the air through. out. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. I love that. And that's so simple. That's so simple. And by the way, because you're using a thin layer. Yeah. That dries so fast. It's okay, awesome. so guys, look at that. Look how easy that took. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah. I look, love that. Look at this, guys. Yes. And then that ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. Now, Jeremy, these are some hooks you put on yes. this window. So I'm going to put a shelf. So, okay, by the way, you know, I'm going through a massive renovation at my house. Yeah. I have a barn full of wood. Yes. So, Kel, can you hold this for me? I'm just going to point this. out. Yes. So this is just a piece of board I found in my barn that was the perfect size for a shelf. Right. Now, what I did is because the color wasn't right for the window, I painted it white to match the window. Right. And then I'm going to distress it using black craft paint. Okay. The reason I'm using black craft paint is because it is inexpensive, okay? Right. I don't want to have to spend a lot of money on black paint. Right. So I'm going to dry brush the edges. The first thing you want to do is start with the edges because that's like the uh, the accent point. Right. So I'm going to take this brush right here okay. and just dab it, and you don't need much paint at all. A little dab will now, look yes. at this. You're taking your dry brush and you're just going to point it like this. See, look at that. You're just getting the edges okay. right like that. Get the bottom. And look, and if your brush gets that, that's perfect. That looks good. I like that. that. You need just a little bit of brush strokes right there. I'm going to keep going down. Do you want to do some, Kel? Yeah. There you go. Now, I got too much paint on this end because I didn't dry it off enough. You can wipe it off and paint again. Mistakes yeah. happen, guys. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, okay. Two, I it, oh gosh, saying. I'm messing that one up. Again. I will clean this up before tomorrow. It's so fun. How fun is that? Yeah, it's so, so fun. So what you're going to do is do this around the whole shelf yeah. and around the window, and you're going to get a super easy, distressed look. I don't know if you can see that. I am going to go to the front because I want to show some finished product. Oh, sure, yeah, so yeah. I was going to take these apart and remake them tomorrow. Oh. But once I made it, I was I didn't want to take it apart. I want to just tell you, I love the finished product. That okay, you have let's here. set that down. I'm going to come over here okay. and just show off this one. I'm going to point this to, uh, to Grant. So this is the same techniques that we used on that one we just yes. did. 
It says, uh, thankful and grateful. Two shelves. I, I imagine this may be in um, an entryway. You can really kitchen. put this anywhere. And would you set a couple items, as long as they don't yes. cover this up, just shorter items. Levels right of there. candles yeah. with mm -hmm. maybe some uh, keepsakes and some knickknacks. And here's the nice thing. It's a unique piece. You don't see this everywhere. I and love this. Another fun thing. You could actually add hooks underneath and hang some mugs. Yeah, you could. Oh, that Hang so some cute. kitchen mugs. How, how cute would that you, be? How did you put By these By the on? way, these are... Uh, the cardboard cutout um, oh, words. Oh, these are the cardboard? Car they're cardboard. Oh, but I thought so they'd they're be so, heavier. I know. Light. Spray painted in black. And then guess what I did? Yeah. E6000. Oh, right on top. Oh, that's so great. And then I really want to show this one, Kelly, because I've okay. had this ore oh, over here okay. for years, and I've not okay. known what to do with it. Perfect. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to just come right over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So I've created this. I'm going to set this up, uh, Grant. I hope you can. I'm just going to lift up to this, this first step right here because I want to show something. If nautical is not your theme, that's fine. You can switch it out. But I had this ore, so I went with the nautical theme. This is actually a towel bar for your bathroom. And you can win this, guys. You can win this tomorrow. I love this. It's so great. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be giving this one away, that one away. I'm going to finish the other one. Thanks for tuning in. To Ozark's Fox AM. Have a great day.